March 2024 is here, and like I do at the start of every single month, I'm going to be recapping you on all of the latest Animal Crossing news that you should know about. There are definitely some interesting pieces of news this month, so I want to share them. So, if you're excited for some Animal Crossing news, leave a like on this video, and then let's jump right into this. So today, March the 1st, marks the date that the Animal Crossing LEGO is officially out, it is now in stores, and you can get it for yourself. I headed to my local toy retailer today to pick up some of these, and yeah, they had plenty of them in stock, which was really great news. I managed to pick up three sets in the end, so I got the Tom Nook set, I got the Isabel set, and also the Bunny set. Interestingly enough, they didn't have the Kappen set, which was a little bit disappointing, but still, these look absolutely incredible. I'm honestly really impressed by just the presentation alone. I haven't actually unboxed them yet because I'm going to do a video of me actually building the Tom Nook set, the Nook's Cranny set, which I'm so excited about. This is the biggest set in the series so far, so it's probably going to take a little bit of time to actually build it. And I want to dedicate a proper video to that, but I thought I'd actually show you what the boxes look like for now, in case you've been thinking about picking them up yourself. Most major toy retailers should have these in stock currently, I believe. You can also get them online too, so there's plenty of options. I will say keep an eye out for that unboxing video as well, because I am actually planning on giving away both the Bunny and the Isabel's house visit sets. I plan on showing more details about this giveaway when I build the Nook's Cranny set, so keep an eye out for that video in a few days after this one goes live. But yeah, if you're unable to purchase any of this LEGO yourself, or you just haven't been planning to, you will get a chance to get some in the giveaway, so keep an eye out for that happening very shortly. Either way, this is such a cool release, it has to be the absolute coolest Animal Crossing merch release we've seen, and I can't wait to see even more Animal Crossing LEGO products in the future, I feel like they're going to be really, really great. We just need to see a Bob Lego figure now, that's really important. Now, taking a break from the Lego, in early March, Nintendo will be adding some new Animal Crossing themed icons to the Nintendo Switch Online Rewards section. This is something they do every month, and they will include some villagers which are celebrating their birthdays in March, as well as some random special characters as well. Now, in my last video, I didn't get to mention which characters have been added for February, and if you are watching this in early March, you will still have a chance up until the 5th to actually get these. Currently, the special characters available are Pave, Mabel, Sable, Label, and Katrina, which I find really cool. I love all of those characters, so if you want to use the Able sisters or Pave or Katrina, Katrina as your profile picture on Nintendo Switch, this is the first time I believe that you'll be able to do so, which is really cool. And of course, collect any of those villagers which are celebrating their birthday in the month of February. It's currently unknown which special characters will make it into the month of March, but I'm sure you'll know soon after this video goes live as they update this feature on the 5th of March. Until then, there's definitely some really cool characters to collect here, so I recommend checking out this section so you can get them before it's too late, and then checking it out once again when the new characters are added. Now we're back to the Animal Crossing LEGO with some news as well, as LEGO has confirmed there will be a special Animal Crossing LEGO event. This will be taking place at different stores, and you'll be able to check whether it's happening via the LEGO website. Now, I know this is happening in the UK, I'm not sure about America yet, but I do believe it will also happen there. Basically, you'll be able to build Fauna's house, a miniature version of it, and take it home with you, which is really cool. This is absolutely adorable, and it's a great chance to get some free Animal Crossing merch. Now, unfortunately, it is limited quantity, so you're probably going to have to get there quite early if you want to get it. I'm actually going to attempt to go myself and film this, so hopefully I will get a chance to actually get it, because it's adorable and it's a really unique unique piece of merch. I feel like in the future this is going to be a very sort of rare piece of merch that you know only kind of happened once. And it's really cool to see them put so much effort into this collaboration, especially when people can actually take away something free from it as well. It'll be happening on the 9th from 10am to 12am, and then on the 10th from 12pm to 2pm. So yeah, I definitely recommend searching this event up, it should come up right away on the LEGO website and you'll be able to see if the event is actually happening by using the LEGO Store Finder that they have on their website. If it is, then you'll be able to pop in from these times, of course it might vary in your own time zone, so that you can go and build this little set and actually take it home, which is adorable. 
I feel like I should just be clear, by the way, this video is not sponsored by LEGO at all. I just wanted to promote the event because I know people would love to get this. This is a free piece of Animal Crossing merchandise after all. And whilst I'm sure not everyone will be able to get it, as unfortunately it is limited quantity, if it means more people get a chance to take part in this, as I feel like genuinely no one actually knows about this yet, then that is a good piece of news in my opinion. I also have to say a huge thanks to CosmicBricks57 on Instagram who actually gave me the heads up about this happening, so huge thanks to them. Definitely let me know if you're intending upon going to this little event so that you can build Fauna's house, I absolutely can't wait to see if I can get a chance to. I just want to give a huge shout out to those who have become Bob's Bestie members over on my Patreon. If you want to help support my content and get a shout out at the end of all my videos, then make sure to sign up. Now technically this is not good news, but I still feel like I had to share it within an Animal Crossing news video. March month's the last full month that we'll be able to enjoy online features in Animal Crossing New Leaf and Happy Home Designer, as online servers will be shut down on April the 8th at 4pm PDT. This is of course really sad news, we've all been very disappointed about it, but I want to try and spin it into something a little bit more positive and say that March would be a fantastic month to go online in Animal Crossing New Leaf and make some memories before it's too late sadly. There's so much to do online in New Leaf as I've said numerous times in my videos, such as going to Club Tortima with your friends and just so many other activities which really make the online of that game great. So I highly recommend utilizing it before it's gone because of course sadly, once it is gone, that's it. Nintendo's not going to bring it back at any point and we won't have any of these great online features that we enjoyed in Animal Crossing New Leaf that sadly we do not have in Animal Crossing New Horizons which has always been a shame to me honestly. Still, I want to think positively, I have so many great memories going online in Animal Crossing New Leaf, so I'm definitely going to have to do so in March, given that it is our last full month before these services come to a close for the final time. Now, March the 20th actually marks the fourth anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is a pretty significant milestone for the franchise. It's honestly crazy to me to think that this game has been out for nearly four years at this point. I really can't believe that. I don't know where the time has gone. Now, the good news about this is it means we're getting even closer to the release of a new Animal Crossing game. As standardly, in the past, the gap was about four years with Animal Crossing games. That's what we saw with Animal Crossing Wild World, Animal Crossing City Folk. Only really the gap between New Horizons and New Leaf was the really extended one. So whilst I don't think we'll get a new Animal Crossing game in 2024, I'm fairly positive that we're getting closer and closer, and it seems very likely that Nintendo is probably already developing the next game. Let's not forget that they have now finished development on their other game, Splatoon 3's Side Order DLC, and updates are stopping for that game soon, so I'm sure you can all know what that means, they're going to be working on a new Animal Crossing game. Given that it's basically the same development department that works on both Splatoon and Animal Crossing. So yeah, I'm definitely very hopeful for what they could do. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below though. Have you gotten any of the Animal Crossing LEGO yet? I'd love to hear. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.